Hello and welcome to the session. Let us discuss the following question. It says the total annual income of Rajesh, excluding HRA, is rupees one lakh seventy eight thousand. He contributes rupees forty five hundred per month towards provident fund and pays rupees thirty five hundred semi annually towards life insurance premium. Find his tax liability for the financial year. So let's now move on to the solution. The first step towards finding the tax for the financial year is to write the gross income of the assessee. So gross income of Rajesh is rupees one lakh seventy eight thousand. Now the second step is to find the savings made by Rajesh he contributes rupees 4500 per month towards provident fund so pf is rupees 4500 into 12 because he pays 4500 per month for his provident fund and that comes out to be rupees 54000 and he also pays rupees 3500 semi annually towards life insurance premium so lic or the life insurance premium is rupees 3500 into 2 because he pays it semi annually so it comes out to be rupees 7000 so the total savings is rupees 54000 plus 7000 and that comes out to be equal to rupees 61000 now the next step is to subtract the total savings from the gross income to get the taxable income so we have taxable income is equal to rupees One lakh seventy-eight thousand minus sixty-one thousand. So this is equal to rupees one lakh seventeen thousand. Now the next step is to calculate the tax payable on this taxable income. Now, from the slab, we can see where the taxable income exceeds rupees one lakh, but does not exceed rupees one lakh fifty thousand. Then the rate of tax is ten percent of the amount by which taxable income exceeds rupees one lakh. So, now we find the amount of tax It is ten percent of the amount by which taxable income exceeds rupees one lakh. This is equal to ten percent, ten by hundred of the amount by which taxable income exceeds rupees one lakh. Now the taxable income is one lakh seventeen thousand. So one lakh seventeen thousand minus one lakh is the amount by which 
taxable income exceeds rupees 1 lakh so this is 10 by 100 into 17,000 zeros gets cancelled and this is equal to 1700. Now the next step is to find surcharge which is 10% of the amount of the tax payable if the taxable income exceeds rupees 10 lakh but this is not the case. Taxable income does not exceed rupees 10 lakh. So the next step, step is to find the education cess which is 2% of the amount of tax payable. So this is the amount of tax payable. Now we find education says which is 2% of the tax payable. So it is 2 by 100 into 1700. So this is equal to rupees 34. Now we find the total tax payable by adding the education says to the amount of tax payable. So this is equal to rupees 1700 plus 34 which is equal to rupees 1734. Hence liability for the financial year is rupees 1734 so this completes the question and the session bye for now take care have a good day